Hey everyone, in today's video, I'll be showing you a few ways, both wired and wireless, to transfer files between your Android device and your computer. First up, if you're using a Mac and want to transfer files from an Android device, you've probably heard of Android File Transfer. However, the Android File Transfer application is no longer available when you try to search for it but you can still download it by using this trick. Head on over to the Wayback Machine from the Internet Archive, type in this URL, then click on 2023 and select a month and a day that has a snapshot. This part is a bit tricky, but keep searching for a day that has a snapshot. Once you've found the snapshot, you'll be able to access the download page. Click on download. Now you might see this page, but wait for a bit and it will redirect you. A download window will appear and you'll be able to choose where you want to save the application file. Open up the DMG and drag it to your applications folder. I recommend that you do keep a DMG if you need it for future use. Now plug in your Android phone using your USB cable. One thing to remember, make sure your Android device is set to file transfer mode instead of charging only. You can find that option in the notifications when you connect your device. If you don't see file transfer mode, you might need to enable it with developer options. Open the settings app on your Android phone and scroll down to about phone. Now find the bill number, tap on the bill number a few times and you'll see a message saying that you're just a few steps away from becoming a developer. Keep tapping it until it says you're now a developer. Then head back to the settings and now you should see developer options listed under the system section. Open the developer options and scroll down until you find USB debugging. Turn it on by toggling on the switch. Now the easiest way to launch Android file transfer on your Mac is to use the spotlight search. Just click on that magnifying glass and type in Android file transfer. Overall, Android file transfer is a simple tool, but it's outdated and finicky at times. You know, there were moments where it would fail to detect my phone or for some reason while transferring, it just disconnects. Another alternative is OpenMTP, which has a more modern interface and works much more smoothly with Mac OS. Plug in your phone and it will appear on the right column. From there, you can drag and drop files between your Android device and your Mac. Now, if you're on Windows, you don't need any additional software. Just connect your Android device via USB and it should show up like any other external drive in Windows Explorer. From there, it's easy as dragging and dropping files between your phone and your PC. But remember, make sure you set your Android device to file transfer mode and not charging only. Let's also talk about a relatively new feature called Quick Share for Android. This allows you to wirelessly transfer between your Android phone and a Windows PC. It works by discovering your Android device within your local network and also having Bluetooth on as well. And once it's discovered, you should be able to share files seamlessly. But here's the thing, I tried it out and I couldn't get it to work. Now I didn't sign in with my Google account and maybe that's why I couldn't get it to work properly. But there were options for you to use it without logging into your account. Has anyone had this issue before? Let me know in the comments. Now for a wireless method that I recommend that works on multiple platforms, local send. This local send application works on both Android, iOS, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, making file transfer a breeze between these platforms. And the best part, it works directly over your local Wi-Fi network. Let's first take a look at local send on Windows. Once you have installed and launched the application, you also want to allow incoming connections within your firewall settings. Then just connect both devices to the same Wi-Fi network and you'll see the default names it's given to your device. Now you just go into either the files area or the media area and start selecting the files that you want to transfer. Once your devices see each other, you can initiate the transfer. Once you press on accept, the transfer will start. And for the most part, the transfer speed were quite adequate. You know, it wasn't really slow. Obviously larger files does take a few moments to actually finish the transfer. So be patient with that. Once the transfer has been completed, it's going to be located in your downloads folder. Now by default, everything you transfer is going to be into your downloads folder, but you could change the default folder in the settings location within local set. You can also change the device name that local set gives to you as well. And it works the same on Mac OS as well. 
I often use local send to transfer photos, videos, and documents between my Android phone and my MacBook Pro. And same thing on the Mac, once the file transfer has been completed, it's gonna be located in your downloads folder. And again, you can also go into the local send settings and change the default folder and also the device name as well. So those are some of the best ways to transfer files from an Android device to a computer. Which method do you prefer? Do you prefer wired or wireless? Leave your comments below and feel free to check out some of my other videos.